the idea is not a theoretical understanding of what is manas, what is buddhi, what is chitta, what is sankara. We know that manas is that part in our mind which is doubting, which pulls us outwards into the world. It's related to the senses. It's related to our interaction with the world. Buddhi is that inner voice of wisdom in you, which actually always knows instantly what is right and what's wrong. Ankara is that aspect in you which has created identities and attachments and aversions. It's, whether it's attachment or aversion, it doesn't matter, it's basically the same thing. It comes from that same place. And Chitta is there, that memory, everything is actually in Chitta. It is all playing out there, that's the, the, the field, you know, in which it all plays. And all the memories and all, they bubble up from there. The fears come from there, the, the doubts, the fears, the emotions, the desires, they're, they're all stored. So, when we keep seeing in our daily life, become aware and see how they are correlating, how they are relating to each other, you know, they are not like four different isolated uh, things. They are continuously relating to each other, there is a continuous interplay. And with these dialogues, you have, you will learn to observe, oh, where did this voice come from? Did it come from Ahankara or was that Buddhi? Did this come from Manas or was that Buddhi? Learning to distinguish between the two is also a very important part of the practice.